We live, Ryan? Yes. All right. Here we are on Miss Judy Holman's glory porch. We've named it the glory porch in honor and memory of Jurgen's vision of the Erie the next birth canal for Christian revival world regionally. But and consequently, uh, this is, uh, I don't know, for second or third in a series we played last week his miracle, uh, and actually there's a documentary I want to try to as well, of the local media that documented the story, Beating All Odds, I think was the, the title of it, uh, where Ryan was told by all the neurologists that he would never walk again, and lo and behold, here he is walking 11 miles a day along the way. In the spirit of that, uh, I have uh, my friend Christopher Salento joining me today. Uh, he has a Holy Spirit miracle. Where's my coffee? Coffee's not just for closers. Thank you. The uh, wow. thank you, thank you. So consequently, uh, Christopher is here by miraculous interventions of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, FOB for, uh, Ford Operating Base Shank or somewhere else in Afghanistan or Iraq. But uh, Christopher, where were you when uh, the it uh, miracles? Was, it was Fob Shank. Uh, shortly after Ramadan, the. Uh, it was early evening. I was walking from my tent to uh, to the terminal where I work, and I was walking along between. It was like a little road that went between two uh, Hesco barriers. What's a Hesco? It's a big cloth and wire frame basket filled with uh, sand, rocks, and dirt, okay. and stuff, and. As I was walking along, I heard this just ungodly shriek above me, and as soon as that, as soon as it passed over me, I felt something put to the ground, and right after that, a rocket exploded just on the other side of the Heskel barrier, less than 25 meters from me. And so if the Holy Spirit had knocked you to the ground, then what? I would like to. Or thrown in the blast. So you wouldn't uh, be uh, not the same as you are today. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And I think that uh, there's a lot of other stories that Soldiers Bible Ministry is a 501c3 that I co-founded with uh, Colonel David Young, uh, Young and Company here, CPAs in uh, Henrietta. And uh, Christopher's story uh, fortunately, is one you hear a lot of, where just all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, uh, something, quote-unquote, Holy Spirit intervention, the angels then saved the believers, and uh, what, uh, it's an uh, honor and a pleasure, because Christopher and I met, uh, I guess it's just been a year, less than a year just ago, about, yeah. met uh, through one of the uh, Spencerport community pages, so... Thank you very much for your service, and uh, I'm glad that, uh, what do they call uh, uh, Bob Shank, was Rocket City? Hey, yeah, Rocket City. Yeah. We were, atta we, we were attacked multiple times a day, every day, with only like a short break during Ramadan. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing the story, and uh, if anybody has any questions or comments for uh, Christopher, he's part of the, uh, you know, you grew up in Spenceport group, so just tag him, and uh, he'd be, I think, more than happy to, to further elaborate. So, God bless, be safe, have a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful life, until we meet again on Monday with Dr. David Schaff and his story of nine days with Jesus. That's going to be a good one.